Today, I will tell you everything that you might have missed on the Glitterfrost update. Including some upcoming update teas. Keep watching. Before we start, let's see who won the 500 Robux in my previous video. Congrats to the winner! Let's start the video now. Firstly, let's start with the locker doors. Not a lot of people have mentioned this, but we have 5 new locker doors for sale right now. Let's go to the shop. Here they are. So we have one of the variants of the Princess Lights door. It's the blue one. I believe there are 4 colors in the Princess Lights door set and you can buy one of them in each season. You can buy the blue one in December, the pink one in May to August, the green one from March to April, and the baby pink one in January to February. I don't know why they didn't set the price as just 10,000 instead of 10,001 lol. Okie dokie, next we have the Rare Gems Locker Door Set. There are four variants. Tanzanite, Emerald, Amethyst, and Tourmaline. They all have the same design, just different colors. I think they're all super pretty, I really love the colors. My favorite is probably the amethyst one because I love purple hee hee. Don't forget to buy them before they go off sale. We got that out of the way, now we can move on to the advent calendar. I will only guess the one that is clear enough for me to see, because some of them are really hard to guess. So on day 6 we might get a beanie. On day 7 we might get this kind of sleeves. On day 9 we're probably getting a reindeer headband. On day 10 we might get reindeer legs. This photo has been shared everywhere and people are guessing we might get these for day 10. Day 11, diamonds of course. Day 13 kinda looks like a bell. On day 19, I think we might get the dress on bathing quarters. Let me show you. Here it is. It looks awfully similar to the silhouette on the advent calendar. I really hope we get it because it's just so cute. Let's continue, day 21 is more diamonds. Day 23, a pillow? Day 26 looks like a purse. Ooh. Day 27, a candle. Day 28, more diamonds. And lastly, day 30, it looks like an elf ear cuffs. Something like this, it'd look so pretty. Those are my guesses, tell me your predictions in the comments. Oh I got an interesting theory. This theory was by a member of my Discord server with the name Materialistic Autistic. They said, I might be reaching but I think this would make sense, Barbie. The devs went for a Mean Girls theme for Xmas 2021 slash 22, Jingle Bell Rock for the Slay It set. And this year when I got the corset I immediately thought of Mean Girls as well. The TTYL bodice sleeves look pretty similar to Regina's cardigan buttoned up. Do y'all agree or do you think I am crazy? Then one of my Discord staff, Mar, said, OMG. I agree so much. The new set reminds me of Gretchen more than Regina though. Then Mar sent a picture of Katie wearing a similar looking shirt with the new TTYL blouse. Here's a comparison. I think it's really similar and the theory made sense. I love the idea, let me know what do you think of the theory. Okie dokie, let's move on to the items that got reworked or got more toggles in this update. Firstly, we got the very cozy gloves slash mittens. In the update log, it said that the gloves has been remade to fit the new arms better. It also has a third color now, and they have added mittens to the name so people could search it up easily. Here it is. It fits the new arm perfectly now. And it has three colors. First one is the mittens, then fluffies, and wrist trim. The mittens and wrist trim used to be colored together, but now you can color it separately. Next up, we have the puffy jacket. The jacket now has 19 toggles. Whoa! From 1 toggle to 19 toggles, that's a huge improvement. As you can see, I'm wearing the 5th toggle right now, it's my favorite toggle. Anyways, let's see all of the toggles together. The first toggle is the original one. Second toggle is the one without fur. Third toggle is the one without sleeves. Fourth toggle is the one without sleeves and fur. Fifth toggle is the sleeves with fur. 
Sixth toggle is the sleeves only. Seventh toggle is the fur only. I believe toggle 8th to 15th are the same but for the mask body type, so I'll skip to toggle 16th, it's a cropped version of the original jacket. Toggle 17th is the cropped version but without fur. Toggle 18th is the cropped version without sleeves. Lastly, toggle 19th is the cropped version without sleeves and fur. Moving on to the next item, we have the snowman top hat. It has four color options now, the hat, sash, brim, and top trim. It used to only have two, main hat, and the detailing which means the sash, brim, and top trim used to be colored together. But now you can make it even more detailed with different colors on each color option. Lastly, we have the window shopping hat. It has nine toggles now. It used to only have one. The first toggle is the original toggle. Second, the leaves is removed. Third, it's only the leaves. Fourth, only the ribbon. Fifth, only the top hat. Sixth, original hat without ribbon. Seventh, original hat without ribbon and leaves. Eighth, original hat without ribbon and flower. And lastly, original hat without ribbon, flower, and pistol. That's all of the items that have gotten a rework or new toggles. Hey Royals, an advertisement might play in the next few seconds. So if you would like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you. Now, have you guys noticed that the color interface has changed a bit? There's an item with five color options, it's the new nails. We used to only have four color options max, but Royale High is updating the interface so we can have more color options. I believe they're still working on the new color interface, I can't wait to see it in game. Next, Royale High has improved the lighting in item transformation toggle images. I did notice a change when I first joined Glitterfrost. The previous images were a lot flatter than the new ones. You can see there's a light source in the new images. And here's an example of the previous images I got from one of my videos. You can notice the difference right? Alrighty, we're done with the dress up thingies, now let's move on to a more interesting topic. So, I read the update log a few days ago, and I found out that you can play story mode anytime now. That means we can play the tutorial thingy that we got when the new school first came out. Although, I couldn't find how to actually play the story mode. It was until I found a tweet that said the story mode could only be found in new accounts. I forgot who posted it though, but credit to them. Let's test it out together. So I've made this new account, and I dressed it up a little hee hee. What you need to do is go out to the front gate. Then head to the rainy woods, and here you go. There will be an invisible wall, and the story mode UI will pop up. I'm pretty sure this will also be available to old players someday, so we'll just have to wait. Moving on. Have you guys seen the new Halo? It's this one. The Halo was made by Cheapie, I think he recently became a Royale High dev with the Dark Fairy Halo that he made for Royaloween 2023. This was the Halo badge. I believe it's inspired by reindeers, and I could definitely see that. I think it's really pretty. Cheapie did an amazing job at making the Halo. Oh, and I will make a Fountain Answers video soon so stay tuned. Let's go to the dorms before we move on to the next topic. So, if you haven't noticed yet, the changing season tree isn't a Royaloween exclusive item anymore. Barbie has added some festive evergreen tree toggles and you can buy it during Glitterfrost too. The price has also been converted into diamonds using Gemma's conversion rate. Gemma's rate was 1 candy for 3 diamonds, and because the tree was 2k candies, Barbie converted it to 6k diamonds. I'm really glad I didn't bought it during Royaloween. Anyways, the evergreen tree toggles are from toggle 8 to toggle 12. Toggle 8 is just a regular evergreen tree. Toggle 9 has lights. Toggle 10 also has lights but it's less bright. 
Toggle 11 is a fuller tree I think, oh and with lights. Lastly, Toggle 12 is a fuller tree without lights. I like it, it's perfect for glitter frost season. Next, the dorm fairy lights has been renamed to stars, hearts, and glitter frost fairy lights because Barbie has added new glitter frost light toggles I think. I believe the new toggles are toggle 23 and 24. They're also perfect for glitter frost. Lastly, I'm pretty sure everyone has noticed this already, but I just want to include it in the video. The trading hub has been closed for more than two days. I think the devs are currently decorating it for glitter frost. Though I can't help but wonder why they need more than two days to decorate it. They usually don't private maps to decorate it, and also I know it's not an easy task to decorate a map. But I'm just hoping maybe they're working on a new trading system or a new feature and they're testing them. Or maybe they're making a new trading hub. This is just my theory hee hee, but it'd be really cool if they're really working on something new on the trading hub. And that's pretty much it for today. Let me know if you missed anything that I pointed out in this video. Comment the freezing emoji if you made it to the end. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day royals.